Ladies, remember to keep your scorecards both sides up to date, as well as your beads on top, so that not only the fans on both sides, the tour director or the tournament director can see the score. Uh, keep things moving, and we'll try to avoid putting you on a shot clock. It's time to rack them up. Congratulations to Gail Eaton for defeating Ashley Rice in round number one. Players for the 4 p.m. match on table four, you can make your way to the table if you have not already.
Sorry for the short delay. I want to quickly introduce our players on table number four. Sponsored by Q's by John Lamon, an amateur from just down the road. For so those of you who are just joining us, my name is Mary Keniston, and I'm here with Cool Action TV. Dot com from the Soaring Eagle Hotel and Casino in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. We're at the WPBA event, the Masters. And we're watching Kathy uh, Messenger play the legendary Allison Fisher. talking to Allison last year and she told me that she still feels like she has a few more wins left in her and uh, she's certainly playing well enough to she's playing as good if not as better than I've ever seen her play very nice 2-0 Okay, had a nice break. <coughs> I've never seen this lady play. I've heard of her. I hear that she plays pretty sporty. Tough shot to get started with. Unfortunately, she left Allison a, a good shot to get get working on a run with. She'll just uh, one rail this, or two rail it, and play the three in the side. And I think she'll uh, draw that back just a little bit for the five ball, just like that. Now she has a, a nice soft angle to just go into the rail and come out to, this, to the left side of the table for the six. Now she'll uh, stop it or draw back a little bit for the seven. Now she's got a stretch and she's over a ball. So it makes it a little bit tougher. But uh, coming from a snooker table, she's an expert with the bridge. She said that when she was uh, a young player coming up, that for months that's all she played with was the bridge, every shot. And that's how she learned how to use it so well. She's going to look and see where she wants to be, the angle to bring her back for the nine. I think she's going to go forward and bounce off the rail. There you go. 
go. Now she may Okay, she's almost straight in, so she can follow that with inside and just come out two rails. Very, very nice. And she'll be straight in on the nine. Allison is in dead punch. Just jumping in, I'm your host, Ray Hansen, Pool Action TV. Mary Kennison stepped away for just a moment. Oh, wow, it's already 3-0. Three 3-0, zero. Three zero, uh, Allison Fisher over Kathy Metzinger. Allison Fisher looking to be in rare form. She's made the two ball, and she's going to have a shot at the, at the one. In the bottom left corner pocket. As a courtesy. Allison's got a pretty natural uh, path to come back up, back across the table towards about the center diamond on this right side rail for the three ball for her next shot. Personal preference here, she may draw back and just come straight up uh, for the four, but she could also go around the four ball. Much safer this route. She's going to go back and forth across the table. She just wants to make sure that she gets a good angle on the five ball so she can easily move to the six. She actually walked down to take a look at it to make sure of the angle she needs. Uh, she may have fallen a little short. Yep, she's not happy. It's just a little hard to tell from our, our, our viewpoints. This is a race to nine. We're alternating breaks. Players are using the AccuRack from Outsville. You can check those out at outsville.com if you'd like to see about getting one of those. It's good to have them uh, to practice with before you go to an event that's using them. You can always tell the players that have uh, spent a little time with it.
Rack 5. Kathy Metzinger trying to get on the board. Uh oh. Well, tough break. Kathy Lori hit it John, right into the side table pocket. Four, Lori John, table four. And uh, Allison will start with ball in hand. survey her options on this two ball and she's uh, pretty much able to do whatever she wants here with, uh, with ball in hand all right we finally have our table four for the 4 p.m. shift set Introducing our players, sponsored by Q's, uh, Joss Q's, an eight-time world champion, currently ranked number 26 in the WPBA, Queen of the Hill, Lori John Hassan. Right, Lori John. And her opponent from La Crosse, Wisconsin, give it up for Catherine Schumper. severe angle on this three from Allison. I think she's going to go just um, just below the eight ball. Oh, she stayed above the, the, below the side pockets. This is going to be great. She's taking a little longer shot on the four ball, but it was better than trying to uh, thread the needle around that eight and seven. some top left and come back across the table for the seven ball. Nice angle again and Allison uh, again walking up to the table and checking exactly the angle. She does not want to cross over that line she just went and looked at. So there you go. She got pretty much right on the line that she looked at. This little stop shot will make the cue ball float right down for the nine ball in the bottom right corner. She could go forward also and looks like what she might be doing, going forward and come to the right side of the nine. No, still to the left side. Nice shot. A little tricky sometimes from our uh, viewpoint up here. And Allison Fisher is gonna go five zero with this nine ball. He does it. 5 0. Boom. Lori John Hassan in the background there, about to shoot on the next table. She's getting ready to start her match. Thank you. 
All right, rack six, Allison Fisher set to break. If you notice, uh, Allison made the wing ball and the one ball on that break. The nice, uh, even, smooth speed break. She got a great shot on the two ball as well. Table speed. Drops the two in the side. The three, the four could be a little tricky. She's looking at this lane right here. You see the lane between the four and seven is pretty large. Gotta go. Nice. Congratulations nice. to the final winner from our 2PN shift. Ashley Burroughs defeated June Myers. I think Allison may have been sweating a little bit there herself. Six o'clock round, we've got uh, scheduled Carolyn Powell and Zhu Chen Wei coming up. Scheduled for six o'clock. Allison Fisher trying to uh, coordinate a lunch break for herself. Here at a 5 0 lead right now. She's got a great opportunity here to go to 6 2. 6 2 0. These last two balls 8 and 9. Good stuff, Allison Fisher, 6-0 lead. All right, Kathy Metzinger back at the table. She'll be breaking rack number seven coming up. Kathy Metzinger, a great player out of Canada. Really hasn't had a lot of opportunities uh, thus far. p.m. Uh, we've got a possible match there with uh, Melissa Little and Jai Lee. Uh, Melissa threaten anything she plays in and uh, Jai Lee finished third place down in uh, at Emerald Billiards a few months back at the WPBA event. And then 10 p.m. will be barn burner match. Siming Chen versus Kelly Fisher.
So rematch of the finals from the Asian Culture Classic Tournament in May, last May out in uh, Las Vegas. Two ball. She'll, she'll uh, go. Around, uh, I think she's going to go around the seven ball with the cue. Missed the bank, and there's an opportunity for Kathy Metzanger to capitalize. She's got a great opportunity here. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got uh, Mary Kinnison is back with us. Welcome back, Mary. And we're going to bring a special guest in with Mary Kinnison here in just a moment. It's going to be Ava Mattia Lawrence. Uh, Ava Lawrence now. Sorry, it's been like that for a while. <laughs> Huge fan for many years, as you can tell. All right, they'll be right in here in just a moment. commanding lead in the short time that I was gone. Well, she's not happy with that. She would have liked to have uh, come off the rail a little bit but uh, as always you know she, he, she shows a little bit of displeasure at the shot and then just gets down to business to figure it out he's going to study it I think she's going to follow it down to the end rail and back up What a beautiful shot. Get your roll out. Okay, she left herself a little tough. She can cut it in either side. I think if she cuts it into the lower right-hand pocket, she's gonna have to be careful. Stay away from that corner. She's looking at that now. Now she's looking at it from the other side. She's still debating. Okay, she's made her decision. She's going to cut it into the lower left. Oh, 
Beautiful shot. 7-0. These uh, templates are very much a change from uh, when I played. We use the traditional wooden racks, of course, and then uh, the delta racks, the aluminum, the sardo rack, which was this, uh, some of you may remember, it was a big, uh, kind of clumsy looking thing that you had to use roll the balls up inside it and then get up over it and press down and it was supposed to lock them into place. I only used it once and uh, I thought it was very, uh, very difficult to use. But uh, they, they used it for several years. Uh, you know, it's probably just because I wasn't used to it. But anyway, now they use the, are you leaning towards the template racks? Oh boy, she very unlucky there. She got kicked into the side. You just can't help that. Well, She's gonna, she's got a little bit of work to do. She's got to, to get down here for the two ball, and then she's got to go back up there for the three, and then come back down here for the uh, four. So it's a lot of up and down traveling here. Good recovery, but she's still, uh, She's still out of line. She has a tough shot here. And you just got to concentrate on making the ball and accept what the table gives you. You know, she hasn't had, uh, no, that was unfortunate. She hasn't had much time at the table. She's going to jump, I would think. Yep, that's what she's doing. And see, that's another thing that, uh, uh, I would say um, in the middle to late 90s, jump cues became very, very popular. And I was at the tail end of my playing career. So I never really learned how to jump the way I see some of these people jump. You know, where they're pocketing balls and playing shape. What a surprise. She's just sticking her nose in for a few minutes just because she loves me. We go back a million years. Such a straight Mary. Anyway, welcome, Ava. Thank you. How you been, girl? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see you. You look Likewise. great. You look great. Hanging in there. Yeah. So tell me, where, where's your latest adventure? Have you had any? You always have such great adventures. Greatest adventure? No, I just I was just in New York with my brother. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, doing a few shows, but having a ball with, uh, I have my APA players, Myrtle Beach and Brunswick County and mm -hmm. Wilmington, and having a blast. There's some crazy fun people, I'll tell you <laughs> what. And I saw that, uh, just that killer picture of you uh, and your grandson. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is just the coolest Levi. picture. Levi. Yes. It's Levi. my Levi. Yeah. He's uh, becoming quite the horseman. Yeah, he is. Just like his mama. Just like his mommy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, I remember. And Nikki Daddy too, for that matter. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember Nikki getting, uh, uh, doing all the riding lessons when she was a little, little, little. Yeah. And then uh, when she wasn't on the road with me. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. She used to have just just bright yellow hair. Yep. Yeah. She was cute. Allison is putting on a little bit of a clinic here, she huh? She sure is. She sure is. I was telling the 
Austin. Well, you know, how come you, whenever you say something. jinxed her. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Commentator's jinx. Yeah, I know it. it well, she deserved some of that. Let, yeah. let Kathy play a little bit, too, you know? Yeah. But anyway, I was saying earlier that I was talking to her at, uh, I don't know, one of the last events, and she said, I still feel like I have a few more wins in me. Mm-hmm. And uh, she said, I kind of got in the slump, and things in my life were no good. And, you know, she says, but... Uh, she says, life is good, and I feel like I have a... She says, I'm, I'm inspired. And uh, so that's really good, and I'm gl- really glad to see her playing again. She looks yeah. like she's in dead punch. That's what it takes, you know, is that you're really... If you've got the stroke and you put some time in and the work in, then the main thing at that point is the desire. Right. And that, you can't, you can't force it, right. you know? Right, that's exactly right. And it, it takes... I've always found it incredibly... Let me just mark this up. Kathy, she finally broke the ice here. Now she's going to go on a tear. Go, Kath. But anyway, I always thought that that the thing that really amazes me about the Filipinos is that, especially Francisco, I mean, I think he's playing the best pool I've ever seen him play. And I've been watching him for a very long time. And he still plays with the, uh, just the, the tiger and, the, you know, just the clawing and the fight. And the he's got to be pushing 60, he's isn't it? He's 55 or, or 6. Yeah. Now. And, uh, and to maintain that type of desire and mm-hmm. focus and intensity over the course of a career. True. I mean, we know how hard it is just to maintain it, uh, you know, for six months or a year. But I think what happens is... I know I won this event 2012. Mm-hmm. I hadn't won in 14 years. Right, that's right. On on the WPBA tour anyway, mm-hmm. and had such you know doing a lot of exhibitions, making a living. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, got married, very happy, focused on my family, my, my daughter. Was yeah. Life was a little too good. Yeah, a little too good. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew I would never put in the work, even if I had it still, to become number one. Right didn't have it in me. I right. go and I'm looking at these young whippersnappers and I'm going, I, there's no way. And then I thought, but you know what? I, I still want to see if I can win a tournament. Right. And really put my mind to it. And I didn't practice much more. Mm-hmm. It was my mind that really, I really right. wanted it. Yeah. And, you know, there's no guaranteed, but it worked out. But I mean, I, I've never, you know, since had that <laughs> real <laughs> desire. It's like I proved it. And then right. it's this huge letdown afterwards. My right. game was the same. Right. But I didn't have that drive to, yeah. so I think that that's that's probably the most impressive thing about Allison is how she has kept up the drive for so many years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, and played at such a uh, top level. And I was telling the viewers that I have never seen Allison just put less than a hundred percent effort no. on any shot. And I don't care if it's a hanger. I mean, she just has the same focus and goes through the same pre-shot routine. And uh, uh, I've never seen her just, you know, one stroke a ball. In the hole. Right. And, and uh, I say that a lot in, in the teaching that I do is, you know, develop your pre-shot routine and then just stick with it. Stick with it and mm-hmm. just stay, you know, stay fighting. Right. And do the same thing as much as you, whatever your pre-shot routine is. If you just, you know, the only way you're going to have consistency is by doing the same thing over and over. Right. Until it becomes habit. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times when you two-stroke a ball and then you five-stroke a ball and then you eight-stroke, I mean, there's no way. It's like almost like your arm doesn't know. Right. It kind of panics, doesn't know when you're actually going to pull the trigger. So. Right. Especially when the tre- pressure is on, Mayor. Yes. <laughs> yes. See a little hit and stick down here. Try mm-hmm. to get that. Two up behind the nine. That's a good shot. I'm sure you've seen uh, Siming Chen play. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, close up. Unfortunately, <laughs> she's phenomenal. <laughs> she is. She is, uh, you know, in the in the parlance of today, she is a beast. She is. 
Did you have catch any of the match with Donnie over the last weekend? You know what? I didn't even know it was happening. Oh, boy, I'm going to tell you what. It was And then one of my players in our league, we were having an APA oh, yeah. event. So you heard about it. And he came up and showed me the phone. Right. <laughs> and the best part was one of the guys came up and was also showing me the phone. And he bet the other way. No. And I loved it. And he finally <laughs> looked at me and says, you know what? She plays pretty good for a girl. And I'm going, did you just say that? <laughs> Okay, she made a nice hit and uh, was rewarded. Yeah, she's, uh, she is very impressive. I think she's uh, the complete package. You know, one of the things that have been lacking with, uh, with uh, even ladies as successful as Allison is her break. It's better, but yeah. this lady has a break. Uh, and controlled break. A controlled yeah. break. A powerful controlled break. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and runs racks a 10 ball. Mm -hmm. And she's very strong mentally. Yes. I actually had an up close and personal experience with her playing 10 ball a few years ago. This is probably about four or five years ago. And I didn't play great, but I didn't play that poorly. And she bageled me. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. mean, she just, you know, broke and ran out probably three or four racks. And the rest of the time, she just, I mean, I don't you know, you say it often. They didn't make miss a ball, didn't make a mistake, but I, I'm pretty sure she didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just really yeah. strong mentally. And yeah, and that's the way she, she, I mean, I'm not saying she played perfect, but I don't think she missed more than a five balls and mm -hmm. two races to 21. And, and it, the score was, of the first set was 21-19, and the score of the second one was 21-20. Right. Yeah, and she was. And so it, she was very impressive. And uh, See, Allie is going to... She's going to go across and back here, put a little left on it, play the eight in the side. She's so just going to have to watch out getting behind the nine. Center no, pocket. Just, yeah, perfect. Center pocket. Yeah, it would have been fun to see. You know, you always say Allie in her prime. Right. Um, Jean Belucas in her prime. Right. Playing somebody like the Seeming or Guy Young, and mm -hmm. you know, just kind of doing one of those races. because. But players who have retired or not playing at their peak anymore. Right. And then again, like everybody has their different levels mm -hmm. of intensity, their years, their, their uh, eras. But Allie looks about as good as she... As she ever has. She has, uh, yeah. I think. And really mentally she looks strong. She, I mean, obviously, getting ahead in a match like this, it's a little bit easier to keep your head together, but... Yeah, but then on the other hand, this is the first match. Mm-hmm. In a, you know, of the tournament for right. her, which uh, you and I both know is always, you know, a t tough, uh, you know, just getting used to the tables. And right. I see there's a good match coming up at 6 o'clock, too, Weiwei and Caroline Powell. Yes. I saw Weiwei. Weiwei Wei can play little. <laughs> I saw Weiwei play in, uh, in Vegas this mm -hmm. past summer at the Asian Culture Day event. She can play. And uh, she can play. You are right. That's yep. Su Chin. Su Chin, I yeah, think. how do you pronounce that? I think it's Su Chin. Su Chin Su Wei. Chin Wei. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here, I'm going to write that down. But we usually call her just Wei Wei. Wei Wei? Okay, yeah. well then I'll call her that too. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool though. I mean, they have players from, from Europe, from the United States, different parts of Asia. I remember WPBA meeting probably 25 years ago now. We were discussing should we let players from Europe, I mean from other countries, yeah, because Europe and play. wouldn't let us play in their tournaments. Exactly. But we didn't want to go over there anyway because all <laughs> they played for was for toasters. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was just saying. But then, that but then somebody said, "But Ava, you're Swedish." And I go, oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's different. let's let him in then. <laughs> no, <laughs> kidding. Yeah, and you were, I think you were the president anyway, <laughs> weren't you? No, not that, <laughs> not that, that, not that point. But <laughs> oh, we were just, I was just talking about Allison and uh, saying that she came over here in 95, mm -hmm. 24 years ago. I know, it's crazy. So obviously it was probably 30 years ago we were having that discussion about whether we should let him play. Probably. <laughs> Who's counting? Yeah. Yeah, I think Yoko was the first one that came over from Japan. Remember Wesley brought her over mm -hmm. with, um, what was her boyfriend's name? Blanking out on it. Taka, Takashi. Taka, 
Yeah, Takashi, Takashi. We'll see here if she can thin this. Come all the way around. That oh, is so good. Shot. Right around that seven ball. Yeah. Never a doubt. And if she can just get pretty straight here on the three, which, you know, just passed out in the middle of the table, and she's good to go. Got one more question. Mm. And uh, I'd like you to tell the viewers about how you ended up coming to America. <laughs> You can uh, condense and shorten and so on and so forth. But I think it's a great story about how you just basically came over here and just never left. Yeah, I was 17. I won the Swedish and then the championship. And then I got a chance to go to the European Championship in Bern, which was the very first one for women. Mm -hmm. The second one overall for the men, but the first for women. And I won the uh, straight pool European Championship. So I had a chance to go to New York for the World Championship. The World Straight Bowl. Yeah, I remember I was working at my parents' uh, factory, making awnings, mm -hmm. and all of it, and blinds, and all of a sudden I got a phone call saying, do you want to go to the United States to the World Open? And I flipped out. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so, um, my aunt and my, I think my brother and my, my best friend, they were all going, she's not, she, I'm worried she's not coming back. And I was going, <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, and so was my parents. <laughs> And then I went over and... Um, they were right. They were right. <laughs> I'm going, this is great. What a country. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, pool, being pool crazy, what better place could you be? You know, and growing up, you know, the, the Jimmy Rempies and, and Jimmy Matias and the Miseracs and all these players back then, I hadn't really seen much about the women, but especially the men players. Um, you heard about of these course. unbelievable Absolutely. legends, right? Yeah. And then at 17, I ended up, you know, meeting yeah. them all. It was, it was like going to a rock concert where you see all the best player, you know, singers and performers in the world. So, anyway. excuse me, just a minute. Just want to uh, update the score. Allison did win that match, so she will uh, be done for the day. And, uh, Didn't give Kathy too many opportunities no, there, she did she? Uh, probably Kathy's probably thinking that uh, she felt like she didn't even get to play that match. Yeah, so, no. Know. But anyway. All right, so we will be back at 6 o'clock with Carol Carolyn Pow from New York City and Wei Wei. Wei Wei. And she's from Taiwan or China? Oh, good question. I think I she's think from China. China. Yeah, I think yeah. she's Chinese. Okay, anyway, 6 o'clock. Be there.